Tonight, Albuquerque police are defending the deadly shooting of a retired Air Force colonel. And for the first time, we're hearing 911 calls made by the man who died that day in May. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton joins us from APD headquarters with more. Chaotic pictures paint the ending to retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Armand Martin's life. Albuquerque police swarmed Martin's home in May after his wife told an officer in a nearby park that Martin threatened her and her kids with a gun. Now, for the first time, we're hearing from Martin himself on a 911 call just hours before he died, helping fill in the blanks of a deadly timeline. 1:41 p.m., a SWAT team arrives at Martin's house. 2:46 p.m., Martin calls 911 and says he just took sleeping pills and is going to bed. And there's cops out here who keep yelling my name. I don't know why they're yelling my name. I took my sleeping medica medication. I'm a disabled veteran. I'm trying to go to sleep, and I don't understand why I'm being harassed. 4:33 p.m. <laughs> APD SWAT begins deploying flashbang grenades and later tear gas. 6:20 p.m. Police say Martin runs out of the home firing two pistols. An officer shoots and kills him. Four months later, Martin's wife Gail tells us she still doesn't know why things had to end the way they did. All she wanted, she says, was to protect her family. That's the main reason why I called 911 for them to get the gun out of the house, not for them to shot and kill my husband. Martin says she believes the police agitated her husband, who struggled with depression, and ultimately, it all pushed him over the edge. I truly believe. He would still be alive if we could have done the situation differently. 